Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 15th Annual Wolverine Awards. Please welcome Utah Valley University Director of Athletics, Mike Jacobson. Welcome, and thank you for coming as you are here to help us celebrate another very exciting year in Wolverine Athletics. Can you believe that it's 2010? Can you believe that we are full NCAA eligible? And can you believe that we qualified our first ever student athletes to NCAA postseason play as three of our wrestlers qualified for nationals and represented Utah Valley University very well? I could not be more proud of all of you, what you've accomplished in your athletic arena, what you've accomplished in the classroom, and your very generous contribution in the way you've given service to your community. We would like to recognize those that have helped us to put this program together uh, tonight those in the Sorensen Student Center that have helped with the setup and been very gracious to do whatever we've asked of them, dining services who have provided the food and the service here tonight, studios and broadcasting that is just doing a, a first-class production in helping us make this a special event for each one of you, our UVU Spirit Squad who is going to help with the awards, and our Wolverine Club. And when I say Wolverine Club, I'm specifically saying our executive director, Jared Sumption, who has worked many, many days to put this program together and to make it special for each of you. I think it's important that we have a little understanding of how the process takes place to come up with the, uh, the nominees and the finalists and the award recipients. Uh, we work with the head coaches and we give them a form that has all of the different awards on, and we encourage them to nominate uh, anyone who they feel is qualified for the different awards. And believe me, your, your coaches are all very greedy, and they spend a lot of time making sure that you're all in there where, where you're deserving. And then uh, as administration, we'll get together and spend a day. Those that work with me in my office, um, the uh, Wolverine Club will work with us and also sports information will work with us. And we spend many hours trying to, to put together the most deserving athlete with a different category. And as our team, as we work on it, we don't always agree. Uh, we get a majority, but we don't always get a unanimous vote. As I know out there, there will be some that will question the vote, but I just want you to know that we're as fair and we do the very best that we can to make this special for you. I think that most of you has, um, are aware of President Holland's mission statement, and within the core of that mission statement is student success and how that is so important to him that each of you have that opportunity to come here and have success. And surrounding that student success center are, are three different key ingredients, those of being engaged, those of being serious, and those of being inclusive. And I want President Holland to know that we take that mission statement very serious. Literally, in our athletic department, we take it very serious. We are serious and proud as we represent Utah Valley University around the country, both near and far, as we travel literally every single weekend. And as we're in airports, and as we're in restaurants, and as we're in our competitive arena, we represent Utah Valley University with pride. We take this very serious. We're very serious in the classroom. Our studies are important to us. Our cumulative GPA for our athletic program is 3.10. 54% of our student athletes have a 3.5 grade point or higher. And we have 27 student athletes that have a 4.0. We are serious in our community where we've donated over 10,000 hours of service this past year. We're also very inclusive as we work with our campus community of students, of faculty and staff, and as we work with our 
city community, as we market, as we promote, as we encourage them to come on campus and attend our events. We want to get our communities involved, and we're working hard to be inclusive and to make that happen. We're also inclusive as we go out into the community and do our service projects. This past December, we had a canned food drive within our athletic department, and we collected 9,000 cans of food that we donated to the Food and Care Coalition. And the people working there said that was the largest single donation that they've ever had of canned food that has come in. We're also very inclusive as we operate what we refer to as our pink games, to tell where we take someone in our community that is a cancer survivor and they're having a tough time uh, paying their medical bills. And we'll have a game that we sponsor and we get sponsors and, and, and people that will donate and we take the gate receipts from those games and we've been able to raise $10,000 this year that we've given to three different cancer survivors to help them with their medical bills. We are inclusive within our community. And then the third area is engaged. And we also take this very serious and I want the president to know that currently within our athletics program that we have seven couples that have become engaged. So this is really serious engagement. In fact, the word is that there are several blossoming relationships that might even turn into more engagements before the year is over. The architect of these important ingredients of this mission statement of student success, of serious, inclusive, and engaged is our very own president, Matthew S. Holland. He is our leader for today and the one leading us into the future of NCA Division I Athletics. Let's all give President Holland a big welcome. Uh, thank you, Michael. It's an honor to be with you here. I'm not sure, sure I've ever said this publicly, but uh, I, I'm not sure anyone has done more to make me look good as a president early on than Mike Jacobson. I hadn't been in office a week when the announcement came about our move, uh, official move and status for NCAA Division I play. So there I was plastered on the paper, shaking Mike's hand with this great university accomplishment. I, of course, took full credit for having engineered the whole thing uh, when I had nothing to do with it. Uh, this was uh, a manifestation of, of Mike Jacobson uh, in significant uh, fashion, but also Corey Duckworth and a lot of uh, lo uh, uh, former leaders of this institution and you uh, great student athletes. So it's been a great celebratory year for athletics in that respect. It's been so fun to be uh, to participate with that and uh, very gratifying for me since I've got some real insecurities when it comes to athletics. Uh, I, uh, uh, last week I was inducted into the Provo High Hall of Fame along with Kyle Whittingham. And I thought it was fitting that I did that with Kyle because it was a reminder about how wise I was at some point to recognize if I was going to go anywhere in life, I'd have to give up my athletic career and focus on academics. Uh, I, did, I was an athlete at Provo High. I, I was on the basketball team. Uh, I came there my freshman year. Was good enough to make the team but not get a uniform. So it was a 12-man team. We had 11 uniforms. And so I uh, play on this team. We had a really good team. We'd, uh, every game would blow out the other side. And by the time we got up to about, we were ahead by about 70 points, the coach would put me in. And uh, this, this kind of happened without fail. I'd get the ball on the wing. And by now, the other team had given up uh, playing defense. I'd be wide open, and I'd shoot the ball. And air ball, sail right over the rim. And then you start hear the chant, air ball. Air ball, air ball, and it was my own teammates. Uh, so I still carry some of that scar tissue. Uh, so uh, it's it's nice when I can sail here on your successes. I do want to say though that my experience with athletics uh, was a really important part of my life. I was never a terrific athlete, but I I loved athletics, and the lessons that I learned in terms of teamwork, in terms of toughness. 
terms of what it takes to be a championship caliber player and organization are lessons that have stayed with me and frankly continue to inspire me in my role and calling here at Utah Valley University. I'm so glad that you're able to continue this uh, experience in your, at the collegiate level, taking it even to the next level. You do such a fantastic job representing the university. I want to tell you how proud I am of you, that uh, not only are you great athletes, but you're good people, you're good human beings. We have so few problems with this program, and that's not the case at many athletic programs around the nation. That's really important for UVU and who we are and who we want to become. So I want to thank you for living those kind of lives, and I want to thank you for representing us well. And I, I wish you could see, when I go out into the community and talk about some of those themes that Mike Jacobson was just sharing, and I talk about what it means to be a serious university, I almost always have a slide about athletics about what it's meant to move so quickly to Division I play, about the kind of successes we've had in the Great West Conference with multiple conference championships. I show your picture, I tout your records, because you're emblematic of what I mean by a serious university, that what we do here, we do in a first-rate way. Thank you for following that in this important area of our university endeavors. So it's a pleasure to be with you. Enjoy the meal, and go Wolverines. And now, for the first award of the evening, please welcome track and field athlete, sophomore Amanda Morse, and from men's basketball, senior Jordan Scoves. Jordan and I are here to give out the awards for the female and male newcomer of the year. The newcomer of the year is given to the student athlete who is new to UVU athletics as a freshman or transfer and competed during the past year while significantly contributing to his or her team. The finalists for the female newcomer of the year are... Casey Mansfield, women's basketball. Brooke Hodson, cross country. Makira Kwan, outdoor track and field. Megan Gardner, softball. And the uh, Wolverine Award goes to Brooke Hodson, cross country. True freshman from Timpanogos High School, Brooke won the Great West Conference Newcomer of the Year after finishing seventh at the conference championships in October. She also earned first team all-conference honors. The finalists for the male Newcomer of the Year are... Blake Cranbule, baseball. Track, Norris, indoor track. Noah Cook men's golf. Jason Lynch, cross country. And the Wolverine Award goes to Blake Cranville, baseball. <laughs> A true freshman from Bingham High School, Blake has been one of the most consistent pitchers during the team's best start in school history. He leads the team in wins, including a 6-4 victory at Utah on March 23rd. Handing out the awards for the most inspirational male and female athletes of the year are the future Mr. and Mrs. Doxie. From volleyball, junior Kaylee Broadbent, and from baseball, sophomore Kirk Doxie. The most inspirational athlete goes to the student athlete who did the most to inspire others through their play, attitude, competitiveness, and hard work. They may also be a player who overcame adversity to make a significant team contribution. The finalists for most inspirational female athlete award are... Kami Manuel, volleyball. Asumi Nakayama, women's basketball. 
Adrian Schneider, soccer. Megan Woodworth, softball. And the Wolverine Award goes to Adrian Schneider, soccer. <laughs> After tearing her ACL, Adrienne was just seven months out of surgery at the beginning of the season. Knowing her team needed her, she laced up her cleats and helped the team to both the Great West Conference regular season and tournament championship. The finalists for the Most Inspirational Male Athlete Award are... Flint Ray Wrestling, Ben Kerr Wrestling, Cole McWhorter, Baseball, Jacob Bueller, cross country. The Wolverine Award goes to Flint Ray, wrestling. Flint became Utah Valley's first conference champion after winning the Western Regional and moving on to the NCAA Division I Wrestling Championships in Omaha. Wrestling this year with a torn ligament in one knee and a recurring injury in the other, he went on to be one of three UV wrestlers to compete in the NCAA Championships. Please welcome to the stage Mr. Mike Guyman and Aaron Beave Levin. Beave, there's something different about you today. What could it be? Well, I sat here and thought this morning, I was like, you know what, who do I respect? Who can I look up to and how can I emulate them? I thought, no better person than Mike Guyman. He's been here long enough. He has the keys of life right here. <laughs> he has a mustache to go along with it. And what better than this nice camouflage hat? What more could you ask for? The wannabe and I are here to present the award for the play of the year. There's been several uh, exciting plays this year and it's been tough to narrow it down to four finalists. The finalists for the play of the year are... Jeb Clark, wrestling. Katie Turner, soccer. Sage Thorpe, baseball. Noah Cook, men's golf. And the Wolverine Award for the play of the year goes to... Katie Turner. Katie scored the only goal of the game in a 1-0 win over Houston Baptist in the championship match of the Great West Conference Tournament. She earned tournament MVP honors after finishing with four goals and two assists. Here to present the awards for assistant coach and coach of the year, our current Wolverine Club Board member and former Wolverine Club Board president, Laren and Kelly Little. The assistant coach of the year is given to the coach who makes a difference in the lives of their student athletes, both in, the, in competition and in the classroom. The assistant coach is a major part of any program and UVU has its share of many great ones. This year's winner goes to a coach that works tirelessly on behalf of the team. The Wolverine Award for the assistant coach of the year goes to Casey Rock Wrestling.
my speech isn't on the teleprompter, so I'll keep it short. I uh, just want to thank the guys for uh, sticking with us through thin and thin, working hard. It, uh, it was a good time this year. We're excited to get everybody back and uh, get going next year. So enjoy May. We'll see you in June. Without a doubt, this year has been the most successful for Wolverine Athletics at the NCAA level, making a very difficult choice for Coach of the Year. This year's Coach of the Year award goes to a coach who has had many successes, successful seasons here at Utah Valley. The, the Wolverine Award for Coach of the Year goes to Scott Hull, Cross Country Track and Field. out of here without talking. Um, first of all, I'd like to say thanks to all those that have really been here from the beginning. I didn't start here when we made that jump to Division One. I've been here six years. But what a place we're at right now and where we've come from is amazing. Uh, where we're going to be is even going to be much more amazing if, if we continue to work like we are and have the guidance through our administration that we've had. It's been quite fun to be part of this program, watch how all the athletes have matured and all the great coaches that we have in this department. And I would like to thank my assistant coaches for all the work they do. We have 110 athletes and to facilitate that has been quite a, a challenge and they've done a great job. And most of all, Coach Adamson. Um, it's a sad thing that he's behind this curtain because you never see him fully clothed. He has a t-shirt and sandals and shorts on. He actually looks good today. He'd make Mike Jackson proud. Um, but I do want to publicly thank him. He has been a, a great part of this program, puts in countless hours, and has uh, been here with us the whole step of the way. And without him, along with the other uh, assistant coaches, this job would be uh, immensely, uh, it'd be a very challenging job. So again, thank you for this award and appreciate it. Please welcome to the stage a duo of golfers from women's golf, junior Abby Archibald and her head coach, Chris Curran. We are here to present the award for performance of the year. We've had several standout performances and a select few have excelled in their respective sports. Here are the finalists for the individual performance of the year. Chris Benson, baseball. Brad Darrington, wrestling. Mary Nothen, cross country. Alina Eisenhower, indoor track and field. And the Wolverine Award goes to? Chris Benson, baseball. Chris hit for just the third cycle in school history when he tripled, homered, doubled, and singled in four straight at-bats in a 12-1 win at Hawaii. This season, Chris has been near the top of the country in batting average while accumulating a school record hit streak. Female athletes for Crowd Pleaser of the Year, please welcome to the stage one of the oldest freshman athletes in UVU's history and is much much younger wife, Matt and Breezy Daly. Wow, that was quite the intro. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I just think it's pretty nice that they recognized him as being the oldest and not the most injured. <laughs> hey, you tried coming back after a 15 year retirement. <laughs> 15 years? How, how old are you? <clears throat> the female finalists are. Thank <laughs> you. 
Elise Jones, Volleyball. Amanda Perez, Softball. Julie Smith, Women's Basketball. Kaylee Broadbent, Volleyball. The award for Female Crowd Pleaser of the Year goes to Kaylee Broadbent, Volleyball. <laughs> Kaylee was named the Great West Conference Offensive Player of the Year after leading the league with 4.3 kills per set. She had 18 kills as over 1,600 fans watched UVU upset number 17 Utah in September. Her powerful attacks and athleticism make her a crowd favorite. And the finalists for Male Crowd Pleaser of the Year are Justin Baker, Men's Basketball, Jake Rickenbach, Baseball, Ben Kerr, Wrestling. Tim Roberry, Outdoor Track. And the Wolverine Award goes to Ben Kerr. Ben's national ranking and exciting and tenacious style bring in large crowds to watch the Wolverines wrestle. He has brought national attention to Utah Valley with his success and is one of three wrestlers to have qualified for the NCAA Division I Wrestling Championships in Omaha, Nebraska. Ben has been ranked nationally throughout the past two seasons and is one of the most decorated athletes in UVU history. Presenting the award for the Wilson Sorensen Spirit of Sport Awards are Wolverine Club board member and avid soccer fan, Diana Anderson, joined by the head women's soccer coach, Brent Anderson. So much talent in that group. There is. It's coaching. They're beautiful. Yes, it <laughs> oh, is. Oh, and beautiful. <laughs> Uh, the Wilson Sorson Spirit of Sport Award goes to the student athlete who best exemplifies the spirit of sportsmanship and teamwork. This award also goes to the student athlete who is willing to put the team ahead of themselves and is willing to sacrifice for the good of the team. An individual who values the true meaning of good sportsmanship. The female finalists for the Wilson Sorson Spirit of Sport are Danny Robison, Volleyball. Chelsea Baker, Indoor Track and Field. Corinne Bentley, Outdoor Track and Field. Asumi Nakayama, Women's Basketball. And the Wolverine Award goes to... Asumi Nakayama, Women's Basketball. Asumi was named the Great West Tournament MVP after leading UVU to three upset wins, including a come-from-behind victory over regular season champion North Dakota in the championship game. The male finalists for the Wilson Sorensen Spirit of Sport are... Kevin Arenzi, Baseball. Kaysen Eldridge, Wrestling. Dane Christensen, Men's Golf. Quasi Frimpong, Outdoor Track. And the Wolverine Award goes to Kaysen Eldridge, Wrestling.
Kaysen became the ultimate team player when he moved up two weight classes to wrestle heavyweight. Despite being outweighed by nearly 100 pounds, Kaysen secured a team victory when Utah Valley upset 8th ranked Boise State in front of nearly 2,000 fans inside the Activity Center. Here to hand out the Teacher of the Semester Awards for spring and fall are Wolverine Club board member Andy Anderson and from the track and field team freshman Dean Swimmer. In my young career here at Utah Valley, I have had the chance to learn from a lot of exceptional teachers. Tonight, we get to honor two of our best. The awards for teacher of the semester are given out annually to two deserving individuals who go above and beyond their teaching duties to enrich the lives of the student experience. Both of the following recipients were nominated by student athletes for their teaching methods and education to UVU students. Please join me in congratulating our first award winner for the fall semester from the Department of Basic Composition, Associate Professor Melinda Bender. And our second award winner for teacher of the spring semester goes to a professor of sociology. From the behavioral science department, let's give a round of applause for Dr. Ron Hammond. Ladies and gentlemen, here to present the certificates for 4.0 GPAs for the fall semester and the Scholar Athletes of the Year, please welcome UVU President Matthew Holland and Vice President of Academic Affairs, Elizabeth Hitch. Well, this is great. Uh, this is better than the ESPYs. <laughs> Folks, we're really wonderful to be here uh, to honor those students, uh, student athletes who've excelled in the classroom. What an amazing accomplishment it is to achieve a 4.0 GPA while participating at the highest level of NCAA athletics. Your dedication to academics and athletics will take you far in life as you continue to achieve uh, beyond your graduation here at UVU. Receiving a 4.0 GPA is not an easy task, especially if you are doing your homework in a bus, on a plane, or in a hotel room. Receiving this honor is a true indication of the type of student athletes we have here. It's with great pleasure that we present the certificates to the 16 student athletes who achieved a 4.0 in the fall semester of 2009. As your name is read, please come to the stage to be presented with your certificate of achievement and then stay with us so that we can have a group shoot. From baseball, Craig Brimhall. And Braden Poole. From men's basketball, Jason Holm. From men's cross country, Spencer Foster. And Jeffrey Walker.
From men's golf, Dane Christensen. And Adam Taylor. From men's track, Alec Jackson. And Stephen Wickhamshire. From soccer, Whitney Fuller. From women's track, Sally Hansen. And Zandria Nelson. From volleyball, Elise Jones. And Marla Morin. From wrestling, Jake Fredrickson. And Eric McAllister. Dr. Hitch and I are now pleased to recognize the Scholar Athletes of the Month and award both the Male and Female Scholar Athletes of the Year. During the year, each sport is represented with a Scholar Athlete of the Month, recognizing the athlete's commitment to both their sport and their work in the classroom. The monthly honorees are then eligible for the Scholar Athlete of the Year Award. Here are the finalists for the Female Scholar Athlete of the Year. Corinne Bentley, Women's Cross Country. Kaylee Broadbent, Volleyball. Athena Maher, Soccer. Blake Reynolds, Women's Basketball. Zandria Nelson, Women's Track and Field. Abby Archibald, Women's Golf. Sherilyn McGraw, Softball. The Wolverine Award for Female Scholar Athlete of the Year goes to Sherilyn McGraw, Softball. <laughs> Four-year starter for the softball team, Sherilyn has a 3.86 GPA while majoring in criminal justice. She was the Perry Holmes Scholar Athlete of the Month for April. On the field, she is batting close to 400 with a pair of home runs and has started each and every game in her career. The finalists for the Male Scholar Athlete of the Year are... Jacob Bueller, Men's Cross Country. Jeff Newby, Wrestling. Eric Dearden, Men's Basketball. Drew Clark, Men's Track and Field. Jeff Holmes, Men's Golf. Craig Brimhall, Baseball. And the Wolverine Award for Male Scholar of the Athlete of the Year goes to Jacob Bueller, Cross Country. <laughs> Jacob, a redshirt senior, was named the Perry Holmes Scholar Athlete of the Month for September. The biology major has a 3.7 GPA and will be attending dental school following graduation. He finished second at the Great West Championships in October, helping UVU to the team title. 
please welcome to the stage your senior associate athletic director, DJ the Magician Smith, and assistant sports information director, Jay Hinton. Wow, this has been an exciting night. It's been fun to, to be here, and I think that's the first time that I've ever been announced as DJ the Magician. <laughs> if you're a magician, no. DJ, then why don't you magically make my belly disappear? <laughs> <laughs> well, Jay, uh, I'm not sure you're even the world's best magician. <laughs> Could uh, help you with that. Uh, you shouldn't have eaten so many paint chips when you're a child. <laughs> I'm a mania, mania. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty, pretty good, Jay. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, no, Jay, what you really probably need to do is uh, make the commitment that I made to my wife. I, I, I committed to her to get in shape. And uh, the, the shape that I chose was a pear. <laughs> so it's working out pretty good for me. Good so. for you. Okay, well, actually, Jay and I are here to present the Dedication to Excellence Award. This award goes to a community member who has shown support for Utah Valley Athletics. And this person has been supporting the Wolverines dating way back into our junior college days. This year's Dedication to Excellence Award winner has been covering the Wolverines in the media during times when nobody else would. He has been an advocate through our transition to Division I Athletics and continues to support our cause throughout the state of Utah. And I might add that he's been a colleague of mine for at least a dozen years, and I'm proud to call him one of my friends. This person has just been a wonderful, great uh, supporter for Utah Valley University, and I'm not sure that people really realize and know uh, how much he has contributed. A lot of these uh, great pictures and articles that you see coming out of the newspapers can be attributed to this person's work. Ladies and gentlemen, please give him a well Welcome, welcome, a warm, what warm, is that, a warm, warm welcome? Okay, warm. thank you. A warm welcome <laughs> to the dedication yeah. to excellence winner is from the Daily Herald, Mr. Neil Warner. Neil. <laughs> Well, I appreciate this very much. Uh, it's very easy to do my job, especially with uh, Jay and, and DJ. Uh, just to give you an example, um, I kind of do a story every week for the Daily Herald, and sometimes it's Sunday night, and I'm not sure what I'm going to write about, and so I'm making phone calls to Clint and Jay, and, and uh, so they've helped me a great deal do my job, and I appreciate them very much. Um, one other quick example, the coaches have been very good to work with. Uh, yesterday, uh, just give you one example, um, I was working on a, a, a story on a, a player who is coming here next year and uh, Coach Dick Hunsaker calls me back. I can hear the, the pilot telling them to put away their cell phones and he was telling me, hey, I'm just getting back with you. So uh, it's very easy to do my job. I appreciate it very much and thank you. Here to present our graduating seniors with graduation cords and senior blankets, Mike Jacobson, Megan Kennedy, and Jared Sumption. It's amazing how fast four years can go by. We're excited and it's our privilege to be able to recognize this night our hardworking seniors. Each year we present senior blankets to our student athletes who have completed all of their athletic eligibility and have also applied for graduation. Keeping up, keeping up with an athletic tradition that was started last year, we will present a graduation cord to all letter winning athletes who will be walking in this year's graduation ceremony. The graduation cord represents your time at UVU as a student athlete and can be worn on graduation day with Wolverine pride. As each senior's name is read, please come to the stage.
from baseball, Jace Brinkerhoff. Sage Thorpe. From women's basketball, Kayla Burningham. Asumi Nakayama. Blake Reynolds. And Sandy Wall. From women's golf, Sarah Coop. And Casey Larson. From track and field, Jacob Bueller. Monique Ellett. Chase Engelstead. Brent Fote. Alec Jackson. And Jared Ray. From soccer, Athena Meyer. Brooke Salcedo. Adrian Schneider. And Mallory Schott Morris. From softball, Sherilyn McGraw. Megan Neiman. And Amber Sackett. From volleyball, Cami Manwill. Marla Morin. And Danny Robison. From wrestling, Justin Morrill. And Jeff Newby. Please give our graduating student athletes a round of applause. Here to present the Wolverine Service Award is Assistant Athletic Director Brad Mertz and from softball, senior Jessica Anderson. Well, thank you to all the student athletes who give their time and talents to benefit the community in which we live. You truly have made an impact in the lives of many people. This service award is given to a male or female athlete who makes a positive impact in the community and among their teammates. And the finalists for the athletic service awards are... Danny Robinson, Volleyball. Mary Notham, Cross Country. Tierra Zog, Track. Blake Reynolds, Women's Basketball. Okay, and the Wolverine Award goes to... Blake Reynolds.
Blake has been a team leader and team captain for women's basketball and has served on SAC. She participates in community service on a monthly basis and this semester has gone to the Seville Retirement Center and engaged in fitness activities with the residents there. Handing out the award for Game of the Year are the future Mr. and Mrs. Heaps. From volleyball, sophomore Chelsea Garfield. And from baseball, sophomore Bubba Heaps. Uh, yeah, thanks. We just broke up now, so. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, we've had some amazing games this year. I've been to many of them and have felt electricity in the air as the Wolverines have been victorious. The Game of the Year award is given to the team or individual who has created energy, excitement, and notoriety for UVU athletics. And the finalists are... Wrestling's upset win over number eight Boise State. Women's basketball winning the Great West Conference Tournament Championship. Volleyball's upset win over number 17 Utah. Cross country at the Roy Griak Invitational. And the Wolverine Award for, for the Game of the Year goes to Women's Basketball Great West Conference Championship Game. An 18-point first-half deficit, the UVU women's basketball team knocked off regular season champion North Dakota to win the first-ever Great West Conference Basketball Tournament Championship. Jenna Johnson hit back-to-back three-pointers in the final minutes to give the Wolverines the lead as they went on to the improbable win. Johnson scored 17 points and was named to the all-tournament team along with Casey Mansfield and tournament MVP Asumi Nakayama. Here to present the Team GPA and the Team Green Award is student body president and formal, former mall president, Trevor Took, and student body president-elect, Richard Portwood. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Thank you. I wanted to dance. Yeah, I didn't want him to dance, so, so. lucked out. Uh, we do student government because we can't dance and we can't do sports. So. <laughs> Uh, we're proud to be here tonight, though, to represent you, the students. Uh, thank you for representing us and uh, providing our students with such great opportunities for good entertainment and involvement. So uh, we're here tonight to give out a pair of team awards. Uh, the first goes to the team that excelled most in the classroom. Exactly. The Team GPA Award, as you can guess, is given to the team with the highest combined GPA for the fall 2009 and spring semesters. The winner of this year's Team GPA Award finished with a 3.6 GPA, which ranked them seventh in the nation in the U.S. Track and Field and Cross Country Coaches Association. Would a team captain please come up to accept this award? And this year's Team GPA Award goes to... Men's Cross Country Team. Our next award is the Team Green Award. This award goes to the team who best supports the UVU program and participates as fans at other athletic events and games through attendance, energy, excitement, and participation with them all. Yeah, go mall. I love them all. <laughs> all right. Uh, while many teams are deserving of this award and wrestling has held the trophy since its inception, we have a new Team Green winner this year. Uh -oh. All right. All right. The 2010 Team Green Wolverine Award goes to men's golf team. Ooh.
Here to present the Bronze Wolverine Award is Athletic Director Mike Jacobson and Executive Director of the Wolverine Club, Jared Sumption. It is an honor to present the Bronze Wolverine Award to a couple who has given tirelessly to UVU athletics and who have diligently supported our student athletes in many different capacities. For the past three decades, this couple has donated their time, talents, and monetary influence to our athletics program. They can frequently be found with their family and friends at our sporting events, cheering on the Wolverines. This couple has supported the Wolverines dating back to my very first days as an athletic director here. Many, 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 how many minis did you put in there? A lot what of minis. minis. <laughs> many years ago. They are true, long, life fans and very deserving recipients of the highest distinction the Wolverine Club bestows upon its members. Ladies and gentlemen, the recipi recipients of the Bronze Wolverine Award are Wayne and Kelly Mortensen. Please come to the stage. I know it's final, so you better get home and get some studying done, so I won't be very long. Uh, people don't want to know me very well, because if you do, you've probably been in surgery, but I just want to take this time to thank Mike and the administration and staff, and especially you student athletes. What a great opportunity it is to be here at uh, UVU. I've seen it grow from just a small uh, junior college to just a great university, and it's because of you young people. So dare to dream, look what I've got after, you know, seven kids and 30 years, you know, that's what you want. I just want to have one question, Coach Hunsaker, how does anybody get a 4.0 and play basketball for you? <laughs> Thank you so much. Here to give out the award for the male and female teams of the year, our assistant athletic trainer and man of many faces, Aaron B. Pimp Daddy Huggy Bear Levitt, and assistant women's basketball coach, Dan Nielsen. Wow. Wow is all I can say. I'm, I'm pretty speechless. That's what my wife said. It's just not the looks alone that'll get her. It was the outfit to go along with it. Well, you, you know what would make it better is a mustache. I'll work on that, Mike. Where you at? Well, good. <laughs> Well, uh, we'll go ahead and move on now. I'm, I'm a little distracted by this wonderful suit here. I apologize. It oh, can do right. that to you. Well, well, we'll move on for the, the Team of the Year awards. Um, we've enjoyed much success this year in Wolverine Athletics, and it's an honor to recognize two of our teams. This year's Team of the Year award goes to the teams who have excelled athletically, bringing praise to the Wolverine Athletics when the team name is read. Would you, we'd like to invite the captain to the stage and accept the award on behalf of the team. And the winner for the female team of the year is women's cross country. <laughs> The women's cross country team ran away with the Great West Conference Championship for the second straight season after nearly recording a perfect score. All five runners finished in the top seven, including conference champion Mary Notham, who finished 14 seconds ahead of her closest competitor. This year's Males Team of the Year award goes to the wrestling team. Wrestling became the first program to have national qualifiers as Ben Kerr, Flint Ray, and Brad Darrington all competed at the NCAA Division I Wrestling Championships in Omaha, Nebraska. 
The Wolverines placed five wrestlers on the all-conference team and had one of their best dual seasons in school history, finishing 10-3, including a win over number eight ranked Boise State, the highest ranked win of an opponent in UVU history. And now, please welcome to the stage Vice President for Administration and External Affairs, Val Peterson, and the Director of the UVU Event Center, Mark Hildebrand. Mark and I are here to announce this year's most outstanding female athletes and the female athlete of the year. Each sport has selected its most outstanding athlete. Those selected athletes will be finalists for the athlete of the year. The following athletes are all finalists for the 2010 Female Athlete of the Year. As your name is read, please come to the stage to receive your award. She finished seventh at the Northern Arizona Shootout, helping her team to its highest finish in school history. From women's golf, Abby Archibald. finished her senior year in the top 20 in the nation in digs and has been awarded several academic and athletic awards throughout her career. From volleyball, Elise Jones. every game during her four-year career and is a two-time all-independent and Great West academic selection. From softball, Sherilyn McGraw. dominated the Great West Conference Cross Country Championships and earned Great West Runner of the Year accolades. In track, she has shattered multiple school records and is currently one of Utah Valley's top runners. From cross country and outdoor track, Mary Notham. She set a new school record in the weight throw and took first in the same event at the Great West Conference Championships. From indoor track, Becky Reeves. This athlete was named the Great West Conference Defensive Player of the Year and led the Wolverines to the Great West Tournament Championship. From soccer, Brooke Salcido. She led all Great West Conference players in scoring and helped her team to a Great West Conference Tournament Championship. From basketball, Julie Smith.
And the 2010 Wolverine Award for Female Athlete of the Year goes to Mary Notham, Outdoor Track. Hi guys. <laughs> um, I just want to thank, first of all, my teammates. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but cross country is, is a team sport. N not as much track, but cross country is a, a team sport, and I wouldn't be able to run or compete or be even motivated if I didn't have my teammates. So I want to thank them. I want to thank the coaches. Kirky, where are you? Kirk? I was getting Coach, Coach Wool and Kirk Adamson um, for not giving up on me because I've been a roller coaster and I think I'm finally starting to figure it out. So I want to thank the coaches. Um, and I want to thank my mom, even though she's not here. She's a stud. She makes everything happen. If anyone knows her, you know. Um, and then also I got to thank Ramsey Pedro because he has taught me what it's like to be an athlete in every sense of the word. He's helped me so much. So hopefully... Um, it just gets better from here, and because I, I have another year, woohoo, five years. So, um, so yeah, thank you, go, go Wolverines. It's really bright up here. Mary won the Great West Conference Cross Country Championship in October, and led the Wolverines to a dominating team win. She was twice named the conference's Female Student Athlete of the Month, and twice named the Great West Runner of the Week. She placed first for UVU in all six races, winning the Montana State Invitational while finishing sixth at the nationally renowned Roy Griak Invitational. Here to present the final awards for the evening, Vice President for Student Affairs, Corey Duckworth, and Wolverine Club Board President, Roger Wollstenhume. Roger, is there anything that you don't attend at uh, UVU Athletics? Uh, chemistry exams. Okay. That's probably a wise thing. Congratulations to all of our exceptional athletes on your awards and recognition this evening. It is, truly has been a remarkable year for Wolverine Athletics. Tonight we will be announcing the Outstanding Male Athletes by Sport and handing out the final award for Male Athlete of the Year. As your name is read, please come to the stage. As a four-year starter, this player is the school's all-time career leader in hits. Average, hits average and runs batted in. From baseball, Jace Brinkerhoff. Okay, there's a stud for you. He shot two under in the final round and was Utah Valley's top finisher at the Bill Cullum Invitational. From men's golf, Noah Cook. all season and is already UVU's record holder in all-time wins as a junior. He was also a competitor at the NCAA Division I National Championships from wrestling, Ben Kerr. Guy's got a grip. He shattered the 100 and 200 meter dash school records and in his freshman season is already one of the most decorated sprinters in UVU history. 
from outdoor track and field, Ala Larea Akrong. Give it up. This athlete was UVU's top runner in three of six races, including UVU's top finisher at the NCAA Mountain Regionals. From cross country, Josh McCabe. He was crowned the Great West Conference Newcomer of the Year and holds the 800 meter school record from indoor track and field. I don't think we're making this up. Track, Norris. senior, he led the team in scoring with 12.4 points per game and was named a member of the Great West Conference second team. From men's basketball, Jordan Swarbrick. Ladies and gentlemen, in my hand is the black envelope. And the 2010 Wolverine Award for Male Athlete of the Year goes to Jace Brinkerhoff, baseball. Um, I'll keep this short and sweet. I'd just like to uh, thank every one of you guys for making this these past four years the best years of my life. Um, I'd like to thank my teammates. Uh, none of this would be possible without them. I have the best teammates and I've made some lifelong long friendships um, these past four years. And then lastly, I'd just like to thank my coaches. Um, they do everything for us and they're the reason why we've been able to be successful this past year. So thank you. Go Warriors. Jace is a four-year starter for the baseball program and in 2009 finished among the national leaders in hits and batting average. This season, he is hitting over 400 while leading the team with six home runs. He holds the school career record in hits, batting, and runs batted in. In 2009, Jace was named first team All-Independent after batting 434. He was named the Great West Conference Player of the Week on April 7th. His competitive nature and love of Utah Valley is evident by his demeanor and work ethic on and off the field. Thank you for your attendance at the 15th Annual Wolverine Club Athletic Awards. We appreciate your support and look forward to the 2010-2011 seasons. Please drive home safely and go Mighty Green.